Here's what's true about that skit, about my life. That was me. I was running after things. I was trying to fill my life with materialistic things. I'll tell you my story. Um, <clears throat> when I was maybe your age, maybe older, um, I tried to find life for myself. And I tried to fill my void, which I thought was going to make me happy and make me joyful, make me satisfied. And I, and I went from <clears throat> broken relationship to broken relationship to broken relationship. Because here, here's, here's the truth. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to bite around the bush. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real with you guys. I thought sex was going to fill my life. I thought sex was going to fill me. I thought sex was the answer to my joy that I was missing in my life. Here's what I know, is that there's a lot of you in here that came tonight. And yeah, maybe you came in here for an iPod. Maybe you came in here because of a friend. But I think it's far more greater than that. I, I believe God has you here for a reason. And you need to come to hear me. Yeah, you came and heard the DJ and play some sick tunes. And you came and saw that nice skit, that powerful skit. But some of you here are searching. You're broken inside. And you try to fill that void with many things, and you know for yourself today it ain't working. And you try, and you try, and you try, and you go in this vicious cycle, and it never ends. I don't know what you're experimenting with right now. Maybe it is a broken relationship. Maybe it is sex. Maybe it's drugs. Maybe you experiment with that. Maybe you try to fill your void, fill your life with weed. Maybe you go out every week, weekend and party and just want to fit in. And maybe you think that's what life is all about. I'll tell you the truth right now. Is I tried living lifestyles like that and I never was satisfied. The only thing that satisfied me was, was Jesus. That's the only thing that satisfied me. Um, there's a story in the Bible that really changed and impacted my life when I really went sold out for Jesus. Is um, there's a story in um, John, chapter four, <clears throat> and this, I'll give you a little summary of the story. Jesus walks up to this town called Samaria, and he meets this woman. Probably the young one, maybe you are really two knows. He, he hits a well, a big well, and he meets this woman who's just broken and searching for things. And the woman was just so empty. And she was going in this vicious cycle, going from one guy to one guy to one guy to one guy to one guy. She went five times over, and the guy that she was sleeping with, wasn't even her husband. You don't believe me? That's in the Bible. It's in John chapter 4. But here's, here's a key verse that really kind of <clears throat> is my life verse and really catapulted my life. John, it's in John chapter 4, 13 and 14. And it says this, Jesus talks to the woman as Jesus broke and she gets that well and she wants to fill her life with things but it ain't working. And Jesus says this, he, said, he says this, everyone who drinks this water from the well will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water rolling into eternal life. Jesus is the answer. Jesus will never make you go dry. Jesus, you will never go dry with Jesus. That's the truth. You can fill yourself with all these things, friends, things of this world, drugs, alcohol, marijuana. I don't know what you're struggling with. I don't know what baggage you came with. But you know it ain't working. Because at the, at the end of the night, after the, whatever you're doing, maybe it's porn, Maybe it's 
<clears throat> we, maybe it's sex, maybe it's all these things, but you know for yourself at the end of the night that you're left at the same place you started, empty. Here's what I know. You are searching to fill that emptiness in your life. You try to fill this with all these things and it ain't happening. And Jesus says that in that verse, that what I give you, you will never thirst again. So you can keep on going on the cycle, but it's just what it is, it's going to be a cycle. You're never going to end. You're never going to be fully satisfied. <clears throat> Jesus is calling you today I don't know where you're at, but he's calling you today to respond to him. And Jesus has been calling you from the time you came here, from the time that you were at home, the time that you woke up. He was knocking on the door of your heart. Today is the day to respond. Today is time to not live a life about me, 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 you, 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 you. And it's time to live a life worth living for. Because it ain't working, right? Is it? It's not. I'm gonna call Kayla up here in a little while she's gonna sing a song. I'm not gonna come up here and preach forever and ever and ever. Because you know what you're struggling with. You know what you're capable of. With. <clears throat> but it's time to make right with God. You can, you can do two things tonight. You can say yes to him and stop ignoring the voice. Or walk out this door with your same baggage and your life completely empty still. But I'll tell you, the best decision I've ever made in my life was saying yes to him. Because he's calling your name. He's never left you. He's never forsaken. He never will. But we can't live life on our own. We need Him. The only time we find complete satisfaction is from Him, in Him. So Kayla's going to come up here and play a song. I really want you to hear the words of the song. The song is called uh, MTV. I believe God wants to for you to a song. Um, again, I, I really don't know what you're going through, but uh, let's pray and then just finish the song and come back up. <clears throat> let's pray. Lord Jesus, Lord Father, you know exactly what everyone in here is going through. But we try life on our own and it ain't working, Jesus. Today, Jesus, I need you to come into my life. Rid me of all this, Father. Empty me, fill me up with you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for creating me. Jesus, I need you.